Hello, Mr. Nawaz Sharif. Welcome to US. Adab, Mr. Khan. I personally wanted to meet and greet you. Well, I was expecting you after my meeting with Mr. Modi. That's not the case. Ever since the day you ignored me at the Saudi summit, I have become a subject of royal humility for all news agencies. Look, PM Nawaz, the world is facing new challenges because of increasing radical global terrorism. And your country has been one of the safest heavens for all the terrorists. No, no, that's not true. Let me reiterate Pakistan's stance that Pakistan is not a state sponsor of terrorism. We are ourselves combating with this menace and we need your assistance to uproot this from our nation totally. That's rubbish. I know each and everything about you. We have been funding you billions of dollars. PM Nawaz, by 2011, we have given you $67 billion. But still, you continue to support all the terrorist groups, whether it be Lakshkar e Taiba, Jaish e Muhammad, or the Haqqani Network in the North Waziristan. Your country is responsible for the destabilizing of security in Southeast Asia. President Trump, India is itself responsible for destabilizing our security in the affected areas of Baluchistan and Northern Waziristan. We have caught their commander, Kulbushan Jadav, who has himself admitted that India is conspiring against Pakistan. Our soldiers have conducted several anti-terrorist operations in the affected parts of Gilgit, Baluchistan, Waziristan and other affected parts of the nation to combat this radical ideology of terrorism. Well, I believe that India is a more reliable partner than you. Even though I have cut down all your military aids and enlisted in you in the global heavens of terrorism. President Trump, don't launch personal attacks on me. I also know a lot about you, about your coming to power with the help of Russian administration. And who doesn't know about your business ventures? Now I got it that the big brother wants to save his own job. That's why you are backing off from various international agreements, including the Paris Climate Accord and even breaking your ties with the closest allies of you. Look, Nawaz Sharif, I can highly consider that you think that US is a limitless ATM. Let me tell you that I have enlisted you in the global heavens of terrorism. No, no, that's not true. President Trump, calm down, calm down. I think now, now you need my aid to bring your anger down. You, <laughs> you puppet prime minister, a spineless ladder who cannot frame his own policies and strategies. President Trump, I am not a puppet prime minister. I am the head of Pakistani government. Me and my nation are continuously combating this radical ideology of terrorism. Our soldiers have conducted several anti-terrorist operations in the affected parts of our nation. And we both need each other to fight this radical ideology of terrorism. Well, I think you're right now this time. Let's join hands together and make this world a better and a peaceful place for I mean.